for screening room. Um, it has a 7.1 surround and Blu-ray and HD projection, so they can really, we try to show the highest quality image so they can get used to high quality image and do those standards for themselves. Um, our, our screenplay collection and our film analysis collection are in the screenwriting room back there. And we're actually scanning all of those so that they can, that students can download those um, and read as many scripts as they possibly can. Um, that's Scott Van Orden's right. okay. um, We stole Scott from Rocky Mountain TV. <laughs> um, any, any other questions? Anything I can help you with? How many professors do you have? About 25. I, I didn't uh, catch your breakdown of the 500 students uh, as to how many come from uh, this school versus other universities. Was it CC, CCA, we have uh, about 350 uh, to 400. Uh, University of Colorado, now about 150. And so um, that's what makes up the, the 500. And that's over four, four, four years? Four years, yeah. So yeah, I divide that by four to get the uh, yeah. class. Yeah. class um, and basically, uh, this fall, I believe we had um, about 130 entering freshmen, mm -hmm. um, and from five continents. So uh, we also have, so we get uh, students from Europe, Africa, South America, Asia, um, all over the world. And uh, we have an immersion program that is very interesting, especially to students on visas, which is a 60 credit program, which is the same as an MFA, but delivered through the community college in 11 months. So every seven and a half weeks, they do four new courses. We, we give them a schedule when they can breathe, when they can sleep, which is <laughs> irregularly. <laughs> yeah. um, they go to class four days a week, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're shooting or they're editing. You know? um, and that's basically, that's basically it. But, How many students are in the master's program? Uh, the master's program hasn't been started yet. But the immersion program, we've got about 15. Is the school still? take all comers like the community college, so no entrance requirements? Or yes, there is, but it's the same tuition. You've got students coming in here with access to ridiculous levels of gear right, for about 235 supports. Of course, that's three credits. You know, um, so, and, and so we've got any, anything comparable, if you can find, and I encourage students that fly in and the and please go see anywhere else and look at their curriculum, look at their facilities, look at the bios on their professors, and you choose the best one. You know, we're not really concerned about that. But then you might look, want to look at Christ too. Because, you know, I, I had one student who came through, she already had a PhD. And she'd taken courses around in Colorado and then found us and took some courses. And then she went to the USC graduate program. And she came back and she was all depressed. She said, I can't believe it. I'm, I'm actually going to go out there and pay $40,000 and it's not as good as here. But I want the graduate. So next year we'll be able to offer that. We don't want them having to leave. Frederick, how do we uh, tell children and grandchildren about you all and introduce them so that they know what's going on there rather than go to UCLA or something like that? ColoradoFilmSchool.net. So, Colorado Film School, we're, we're on the web. We've got a, a pretty good presence. Um, we've got. Um, I haven't checked lately, but about 10,000 like, visitors a month to our website. So, um, and and we're, we've got we've gotten you know an international reputation, so people are seeking us out. But it's often the the closest that are the hardest to reach. <laughs> so, um, so appreciate it. If you 
spread the word. We've got it's 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 really good opportunities. And what what is great is they come in, they start shooting right away. You know, their their uh, first week in, in class, they've got a camera in their hand, and they're out shooting, and then they're coming back and seeing what they didn't shoot as they edit it. So they're learning software and they're learning hardware, and then. Then we make them start thinking, okay, now look, so we've got a core, and the core, they're required to do short script analysis, um, they're required to do understanding the actor's process, production one, post-production one, and another film analysis course, development of film expression, where they analyze a scene, write a, I had to put a page limit of 40 pages on the papers they write. Um, I, I was getting 120 page papers from, from some overachievers. <laughs> yes, exactly. I didn't have to wear glasses before. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's a, that's a rite of passage for me. They're, they're going through crash editing and I read 2,000 pages in a week. So. <laughs> But, um, so we're trying to get them to build real analytic, uh, critical capabilities at the same time that we're engaging them in something that they've always been drawn to. Well, you've got this Colorado student and they're going to spend $40,000 at UCLA. What are they going to cost to enroll them? Well, um, about, for tuition, about 4000 $5,000. Um, if they also want to live, um, you know, out of the house and have that experience and so forth, then those costs as well. But, you know, say, well, you could spend that extra thirty-five, forty-five thousand 45000 on the school, or you might take some of that and spend it on a film. And you graduate, you know, and have, have a budget, you know, save, you know, negotiate with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else is there? <laughs> sure. <laughs> The film tends to be more an external, um, an external battle than the between individuals or between individuals. But it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and a character, that, that's helpful. We are drawn to character by seeing them overcome adversity.